streamy. Stream is going. Let's get some music going. Turn that down a bit. It is loud. I don't know how loud it is on the stream, but it's loud to me. Should be live now. Yeah! Ah! This feels great. Um, playing the new News for Speed, guys. Uh, I don't know how long it'll take before anyone gets to watching this. Trying to watch the uh, channel right now to see if it's actually updating information. It might be updating. We do make sure that it's muted. We won't have a good time with that. That goes bad. All right, but I should be all good to go. And I'm um, trying to get the chat up. Where is it? Window, come on! All right, stuff's updating, so it looks like it's it's working. Let's see if there's a post. Boom, boom, boom! Playing the new Need for Speed, and there's a bunch of cars here for no reason. I think this is a weird spot, the gas station that just spawned me at. Not sure why I was at the garage when I quit last night. Uh, did Facebook post? Twitch post? Nothing post? Twitter, why? Alright, hold on. Have to make a manual post here if I can. One moment, please. Um, notification. How do I make a thing on this? I don't even remember. Oh, wow. It's already trying to like post my thing. Yeah, post that, but now it should be good to go. All right. So I've played just a little bit of this game so far, and the sound effects may be a bit loud. I kind of want to just turn it down while I'm while I'm talking. Uh, so I've played a little bit of this game, and so far have enjoyed the bits that I've got to play. I have gotten through the first prologue and then part of the tutorial, and I'm not sure which one of these races I should actually go to. But I wanted to talk about how this game handles, and uh, I think I actually like it quite a bit. And I wanted to just kind of like, you know, touch on the the steering and stuff, because I always worry about control of games uh, like Forza and stuff not playing the way I want them to play, not, not you know, not doing these awesome drifts like that was pretty smooth. It feels really good to do. A little tap on the high handbrake and then slide around, very arcadey, and that's why I like Need for Speed's games. Uh, this game has changed the formula just a little bit uh, from the last game. I think some of it's okay. Uh, some of it I don't care for. And then, like, the, it, I don't want to say that, like, loot boxes have taken over even on this game because it's, it's not exactly loot boxes, but there is, like, a card system for, like, how you gear up your car now. And I'm not sure I'm a big fan of that. So I'm supposed to go 126 for the speed trap. Can I, I mean, I'm not going to make it. 111. Um, but like, so I'll come to this place just because I want to kind of show you guys this. Uh, you hit the bumper, and then there's these, like, you can get uh, engine headers, turbos, gearboxes, uh, exhaust, ECU, gearbox, ECU. So there's, like, random shops, and they're on a weird timer system now. Um, and so you can get these pieces of gear, and then, like, say that uh, thing over at the bottom, I can't show you with uh anything but uh the thing this is a uh, three times pink whatever that's supposed to be chidori that is like a bonus for having three of the same type of of uh gear equipped like i look at my equipment i have the the two pink there and the third one there so that gives me a bonus i don't know what these symbols mean i mean i've played it only just a little bit but i think like there is uh you know potential for like getting cool gear and stuff but like you know i i did a reroll on one thing and i ended up getting this thing and i don't i think it's kind of a weird weird system that you can do this trade-in 
where like you pick one of these three things, like you can pick the, the brand you want. Like I could say I want more Chidori things if I was trying to get a, a three piece set or something, or I could pick one of the other ones. Um, one of my other cards has a bunch of Americana pieces. So um, if I wanted to keep that set bonus, I could roll that. But then it, it randomly gives you one of these, but it costs these, uh, these, these cards, you see the cost of three cards or whatever. Basically, how that works is you buy, like, these for, like, a lot of money, or you get one at the end of each race. When you get done with the race, you get kind of a pick one of three cards. It's a very weird system. It's so, like, convoluted. I don't, I'm not sure that I like it, but I'm, like, trying to appreciate it as something different. But, like, part of me is, like, this is not how cars work. You don't just get a, a you know, a piece of gear from whatever brand or something after you win a race. You just That's just not how... I don't know. It's very weird, and I'm, like, I haven't fully gone in depth, and I'm not high enough level to, like, min-max any of my cars yet, and this is the, I mean, these are the highest cards I'm getting, and it's still pretty low-level stuff, right? Um, you know, so, like, you see that these have, like, you know, a bonus, like, a acceleration, and then the other ones have, like, or this one has jump, this one has speed, this one has extra brakes, and it, it kind of shows you in the little... The little thing on the on the left, you know, kind of how much stuff is going to affect it. Like, that's going to give me a lot more nitrous. But, you know, it's, uh, I don't know, like, what, <laughs> like, these ones have all this jump on it, and I don't know how uh, how to justify any of that, and I can't move the thing on that one, so I'm just going to move to the next one. Like, you could you could use three cards to roll this, but, like, it's it's a very weird system, and I'm not sure that I like it yet, okay? But, so then there's this other part of it. All right, where like I have, you know, I'm driving around in this car, but if I want to do this race because it's a off-road one, I have to switch cars. So then it takes me kind of to like my faux garage and it lets me pick one of my whatever off-roading ones, which it gave you this one kind of by default, I think, or there was an option for this one or some other car. Uh, and then because I bought the deals or because I bought the uh, premium thingy, I got this truck and the other car I just had was a Volkswagen Golf something or other that was from the DLC. But there's, you know, there's few other cars and, uh, you know, then you can get, like, the glowing lights and, like, colored nitrous and colored stuff. It's, it's like, there's a lot of stuff that you get from, like, these purchased packages. And uh, what do I need to do? Jump 45 yards. So there's this uh, side bet thing goes on, too. It's so weird. Um, so you get, like, a little thing at the beginning of the thing. It's like, do you, can you you know, jump this far? Can you uh, drift this much? Or can you be the first in the race for 30 seconds or more? And uh, it's quite a lot of stuff to, like, take in for for me just starting to play this. Uh, it's a bit. And uh, I, I'm i trying to decide which parts I actually like and which I don't. I think for the most part I'm okay with everything so far. I haven't had too many problems. This car handles, like, a tank. It's heavy as as a tank so it feels super crazy but like every car has nitrous like why does this truck have nitrous i don't know like why <laughs> whose choice was it to give this guy nitrous uh but apparently it's just part of how every car works in this game you always have like a slightly regening nitrous which is different from need for speed 2015 where you had to like pick the nitrous you wanted you had the uh the time-filled one or you had the action one action-based one and i'm probably gonna land crooked on this because i'm terrible it jumps uh the other game uh, didn't have a lot of off-roading jumps and stuff like that. This game has a lot of people talking over you playing and a lot of, like, you know, this narrative that is uh, very based on them talking and telling a story, kind of a Fast and the Furious something or other story. But it's just, it's it's okay. I think they tell the story better than the last game did, uh, but... I'm still pretty early on in it to know. Like, the cutscenes, some of them are kind of funny because, like, one of them was, like, another car pulled up next to my big old truck, and they were talking, but you could tell it was, like, the one... It was, like, almost a scene out of Cars or something where, like, the one truck's talking, but my truck is talking to him. You know, my guy's talking out the window to him. And uh, as long as you know which voice is supposed to be your your guys because you switch between characters when you're doing off-road and drifting versus when you're doing... Uh, the other like race car parts because you have one guy who's like in your crew who's supposed to be like the the main character but he's also the uh oh no i'm gonna lose at the very end that would suck uh he's like the uh, race car i can drive fast and then you got the the other dude who's like i do off-roading and i'm great at it anyways let me turn this back up a little bit a little bit more volume on that uh 
but yeah, I, I like I'm I'm enjoying it, but you know, I won the side bet on that one. That's cool, and that gives me money. But how do you use this money? Like in the last one, you just use that money to buy the parts. This one, you gotta wait on these weird card things, and it should come up in a second. You'll see, uh, cause I won a thing. Now I gotta choose one, two, or three cards. I have no idea what any of them is. I don't, I don't know how random this is, or if there is a best one, a superior one to pick. Do you always just want to pick the middle? Is that like the three door uh, game show thing? Like you always want to pick the middle one. You always want to pick the outer one. I don't know. I just I've been picking the middle one, but that uh, sucks. So I got something that's. You know, a lower number than what I have, but it's got nitrous instead of speed. It could be better. I don't know. Uh, you can uh, so you can sell it to get more money because you know apparently you're gonna need a lot of money to buy Lamborghinis and whatnot later in the game. Uh, or you can do the the trade-in thing, which gives you one of those card credit things that you use three of to re-roll to make better cards. So I think the best thing you can do at the beginning of this game when you first start out is just uh, trade in a bunch of cards. You can also send them to the garage, and I don't know which other cars get to use these parts from the garage. I haven't figured that part out yet. Like, it doesn't seem that I can just give it to any other car. It seems like I can decide if I want to equip it later if I send it to the garage or whatever. Um, so I can kind of stockpile a bunch, and then if I decide they're all, you know, you know, I've got the best in slot one or whatever, I can I can use that later. But that's I, it's just a weird process to have to go through this. So I've been actually kind of like this one. I'll probably just trade in. I get one parts token, and then, you know, I'm back to the free world. The uh, roaming part of this game, and I can kind of decide if I want to go do a, a race or go to a dealership or go to something. And the maps, I'm this is there's not much on the map because I am really just starting. I've only done like three parts of one of the stories for uh, for this, and I think two parts for the other. The jumping ones are like progression parts of the story. The other ones that you see, uh, like these these aqua green ones, are kind of just random around the map things to do and then these blue things I, they took this from uh, Burnout Paradise I think where you have to smash the billboards and so there's a bunch of billboards to smash and so it's a little different than uh, Need for Speed 2015 was but it's kind of got some of the same things like Need for Speed 2015 had the um, um, view vista points, view points that you could like go to and then it take a weird picture of your car. This it does the same thing you jump through this billboard and you're, it's part of the story I'm guessing or it goes it seems like it would go along with the story uh, the main story of the game pretty well and you, you just you smash through these things and then uh, you know it takes a little photo of you doing it one of them I landed like right on the thing and my car kind of just stalled out there and just fell down and I was like that's a good way to take a picture of you ruining a car but whatever you know it's I don't know it's part of their their game thing so there's like 30 of those to smash and then there's um so there's these tune-up shops and you can see the inventory refresh rate so in six minutes and five seconds these things are going to all get a different set of inventory, and I think they're all tied together. Where's another one at? Right here? Is this the one I was at earlier? So this one's 5 minutes 55, so they're about the same time. Uh, they all look like they're at five, 5 minutes now. So uh, those things will refresh, and I don't know if you have to go to each of them. Uh, I haven't figured out. There's a fast travel thing. Uh, it doesn't say anything like if they're a specialty for whatever kind of car or anything like that. I'm still not sure on that. There's a fast travel fee that costs you money to go to that, which it's not much when you make, you know, tens of thousands every time you race pretty much on the story mode and then seven to whatever more thousand per race. And then you could sell the cards if you really need money. So it doesn't seem like I don't I don't know why the fast travel has a fee. There are other things like your garage that you can go to and you can fast travel that for zero dollars and then. There's other garages that you can buy around town, which is kind of an upgrade from 2015's Need for Speed in the fact that, like, the other one just had, like, the one central garage, and then there was gas stations and there was other stuff, but they didn't they didn't let you uh, switch out cars or do anything. You had to go back to that main city, main hub. Uh, even if you were, like, way out in the woods or way out in the hills or whatever, you'd have to come back to the main just to do that. So it was kind of... Uh, nice to see that they had these other garages, but the the first one I got to is this one that I'm hovering over now, and it, it says it's got fast travel now. There's I guess there's four garages total, so I own two of them. Now the part where it says I own two of them is I had to buy this this third this this second one. Uh, uh, so the first one I had was this one way over here. Uh, in this weird airport spot, and then uh, when I got to this one, it was like it'll be twenty thousand uh, dollars to buy it, and I was like, I guess I'll have to buy them. It says it gives you more slots, more uh, more storage for cars and stuff, which is 
definitely a big bonus from 2015's Need for Speed version where, like, you had five cars and you had a warehouse of five cars. And I think at launch, that game didn't even have that. I think you had to wait until you had either the digital deluxe version of 2015 or a patch or something that added the warehouse because I think they just had initially five cars and they thought that would be enough. You know, five cars for for people that are collecting all the Lamborghinis or whatever wasn't enough because you'd end up just, you know, having to sell everything else. So this game has learned from that and then gives you uh, more slots. I think after I buy the next garage, it'll give me more than 20 even. So I'm not sure where the next one is over here, but it costs $27,000 to buy that one. And then I think there's one up here, right there. Yeah, so that one's 31500 So uh, after you buy them, you get more, more garage stuff. That's kind of cool. When I go to garage, uh, I can just hit Y for fast travel. I'm on the Xbox version, by the way. Uh, so uh, I enjoy Need for Speed uh, games, and I enjoy playing them with a the controller, and I didn't want to wait or have to play this on uh, PC. I'm generally a PC gamer, but... Uh, I would like some use out of my Xbox at some point, so that's why I've uh, I've bought like the last Need for Speed game, and then I've tried to buy, play Forza games and stuff on Xbox, and I'm just like not the biggest fan. These aren't even loaded yet with their their paint jobs, but uh, you have a lot of options for customization and paint jobs, and I uh, I think this game is is a fun game for me to like kind of just relax and chill and do something different. So I, I like it for the Xbox. Uh, but, uh, let's see if these ones actually loaded their paint jobs yet. This one did. This goofy purple Jeep. Uh, so there's different classes of cars in this game, which is different from the last game. This is a point I wanted to, to hit really quick. Like, this is an off-road level 168, which it goes up. The more horsepower, the more, you know, parts you get. Uh, this was the first car that I got. I picked it because, you know, uh, <laughs> golf is a fun putt-putt mobile, right? <laughs> oh, bad jokes. I can't help myself. Sorry. Um, the charger I got because I think it just gave it to me because of the DLC or the uh, whatever premium whatever version that I got. I think the same thing with the, uh, the Camaro. Where is my other car at? Can I just look at the garage or look at the uh, thing? Swap to warehouse. So, uh, so there's different classes of cars. You have a couple of them that you get for free right away. At the beginning of the store, it gives you like two, and then it kind of gives you these like other options. Where did my other car go? Is it this one? It must be this one. Yeah, my other golf, my other putt putt machine. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to switch that out with the other the crappy Golf. This is like a newer version of the Golf. And I put glow sticks on it and stuff. And it's uh, it's still also not upgraded all the way or anything. So I am barely just starting this game out. But um, with the different uh, types of cars, you have a lot of different options in uh, uh, your stance and how high and camber and whatever. Um, you have your regular stuff that you can change visually like your your splitter spoilers your hood um your rims uh sides uh this one i think you can change the mirrors yeah the other one i the pickup i couldn't change the mirrors on rear fender so you can go in and you know kind of customize the uh the bubbliness of your car if you will um you can change your, your taillights headlights spoilers uh why there's a sound system option, I don't know. Because the sound system option is like, there's one and it's like just extra money to dump in your car. But, you know, there's the different kinds of spoilers for your for your whatever this is, whatever kind of car, goofy looking car this is. Um, so, yeah, you can kind of upgrade stuff, change your, your license plate to have your name on it and look cool. And then you can change your diffusers and you can change your uh, tailpipes. You know, if you want the big shiny ones, if you want the uh, carbon looking ones. You want the, uh, well, this one doesn't even have the, uh, the burnt stainless steel looking ones, but, uh, so there's a lot of options in that, just like in the last game, pretty similar, very familiar to the last game. Um, and then the other game, previous game had, uh, customization for drifting and, and speed settings and stuff, but this game has done away with that. 
So normally between uh, visualization and performance, you had another option. I forget what it was. Uh, handling, I believe. But it, it had like the softness of your tires, the uh, downforce from your spoiler, sway bars, all that stuff. That's gone. Like they did away with it and they kind of simplified it. And I think they just gave every car the best settings for what it's supposed to do. Uh, but then they added this system instead of where before you could just drop 20,000 on an engine, 20, 30,000 on a block, 10,000 on an ECU. I don't know what, you know, any of the stuff is called because I'm not a park guy. You could have a turbo for like 10K. So everything had kind of just this weird price. This time they just got the six different pieces. And then I don't have any extra pieces, but you could see like I have um, the stock one I could equip out for that. And it, it shows you how much, you know, that would drop my uh, my car's level. And then it'll show you how much each of the different things. And then like if I break one like this one, it breaks a lot of points uh, because it breaks a three piece set. Uh, but so they added this weird system that, you you know, you can get from cards, you can do re-rolls and it's it's just kind of weird. I'm not the biggest fan of that part yet. I don't know how well it's going to work out later. Um, but, you know, the customization basically for, like, looking, you know, looking cool. This this game has got a lot of cool-looking ability and potential, which is great. I want my cars to look really cool. Uh, I like the uh, being able to put my name on it and have stupid pink camouflage pink leopard printed windows that look fuzzy and uh yeah i like dumb stuff uh when it comes to customization i'm pretty into whatever uh you know you can do to make art look cool the better right um let's go look at one of these cars that i don't have much on or something do i have one that i don't have anything on so say you select this car or i'm just going to select this one because i don't really care for the paint on it i just put something quick real quick on it uh because it was like one of the first cars I had. Uh, but you can, so you can go to the library. You can actually see like what your other cars, which, uh, what they would look like if there's on it. But uh, do be warned that uh, the scaling and stuff for different cars will make uh, paints not match. You will, you know, this is, this is pretty much the same as it was. Like you can see the back end of this, this pickup bed is not covered because this, this skin was made for a different car, right? But then like if I go to one that should cover most of the car, it probably will. I think they, yeah, that's probably supposed to be black. And then, you know, so, like, I could use that that skin from another car, okay? If that's kind of cool, I can reuse, you know, skins from a bunch of different cars uh, and kind of have, you know, uh, one... I was trying to make one that was just kind of a plain Jane that I can put on everything, and that's when I came up with, I, I don't I, I don't think it was this one. I think it was the what this thing default looks like, whatever this is. I think and I, I changed it for the other pickup because it looked better in a darker color but uh yeah you know there is you know you, there is the potential to go make your own wraps and do a lot with them and then share them on the community then you can go to the community and you can see tons of stuff by lots of people and then the the thing that i noticed in this version is that there isn't as much a um way of sorting this in the last one sorry i had to get a drink there um in the last one there was a way of sorting it by um by what were the options uh one of them was like most popular one of them was most recent so like you'd see the newest ones that just came up and then a third one was like artists that you'd favorited or something and then there was a fourth one i think you can still favorite an artist or something but it shows you like this one's have 315 downloads this one's got 246 downloads it takes a little bit for them to load in um but you can uh, you can see like this one's got 242. It's the the third in most popular. I think we're just going down in downloads. And so since this is pretty new, there's not a lot of skins yet. But as the life of this game goes on, there will be more. There will be the most popular ones. Will probably be put at the at the beginning of this list. And I hope I hope that it'll be like the last game where they'll add other options so you can see most recent ones and then you can see because otherwise newer skins that come on will just never get put on as much as you know you make something really cool looking um you probably want people to see it but if it's if it's sorted by this system where it's only the most popular and then uh going down 
there's a ton of skins. Like, you can go for a long time. I guess there, there is a, a trigger button I didn't see before, so I don't know when they added that. Oh, that's Nope, that's just uh, for that. Is there another bumper button? What am I, on most popular? Followed our... Okay, so there is... Okay, I uh, didn't even see where these trigger buttons were before, but so there's most recent trending... Good, good, good. So you'll be able to see what's what's new, what's uh, most popular, followed artist, player wraps, view of players, shared wraps by using player options. So if I had any shared for this, I would show those. Um, but yeah, okay, good, good, good. So trending and then most popular, you're probably going to want to check some of those out after the game's life has been out for a while. Uh, See, like this one, it shows the back camper. That's one of the mods you can put on the car or this Jeep thing, whatever this is. <laughs> uh, so their their picture shows that they had the, the mod on it. So you, you would know that if you wanted to use it, you'd probably want to put that mod on too. Um, wow. This is like a cool-looking British zombie smashing car. A way out. Um, is this another bloody gutsy looking one there you go so some of these people you know make something that's kind of cool some of them man i swear some of these cars you go and look at they're just like you know i mean i don't mind that you wanted a gold car but i don't th see a reason in sharing it other than they put you know two stickers on the mirror and then i guess they put the polka dots on that side maybe that side too okay so they did a little bit more than i thought but there's some that are literally just like that blue one over on the right that are just just the blue this one, they kind of added some cool, like, rusting-looking effects, but then put a uh, weird sticker on it. I'm not one for a lot of stickers on cars, you know. Uh, I like design, and uh, I like... Um, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? I like... I don't know. I like... Uh, I'm drawing a blink. I like cartoony things. That's cool. I like stuff that looks good. Um... You know, ambient art that is very just, you know, good. I, I like some of the art in the last game. I found some that had, like, you know, uh, Pokemon and stuff on the car or anime girls on the car, and those look good. This is a pretty good-looking one, actually, for a rusty one. They had a good, pretty good use of the uh, the textures that you can use from some of the paint wraps, right? So this is this is good. I like that, you know. Like, I, you know, if I wanted a rusty, beaten-up-looking truck, I'd probably get that. You know, or there's a lot of camouflage ones because there's a couple easy to use camouflage things that you can stretch out really easy. Uh, if you were to make your own customized paint wraps, but uh, yeah, like some of these, this is kind of cool. It's got plants and zombies stuff because this, this game has a bunch of those pre-made stickers that you can just kind of put on there. Um, this is one of those things you see a lot of these stretched out. Uh, it's I don't know some kind of zombie thing. There's a couple different different ones. You can see two of them there on the side, and then it looks like they just kind of stretched out one of them really big on the side, and on the top, and on the bumper maybe. But uh, so there's a bunch of things like that. You know, this one looks like it might be good. Yeah, it's pretty good dirt camo, desert camo. It's fairly well proportioned, I think. It's nothing's too big or too small, as far as the uh, the camo stripes go. Um, but yeah, so there's lots of options in this, and I think. It'll only get better as time goes on where other cars get, you know, better and better uh, options added to them. I'm going to switch back to this car. I would like to see, you know, what other people make because I am pretty generic when it comes to making artsy stuff. You know, I put my name on it and I put some kind of camouflage and kind of a blue-purple non-realistic color because I am not... Uh, worried about really blending in in a game about driving so yeah you know there is i don't know there's a lot of possibilities for customization and i spend a lot of my time playing these games doing that kind of stuff just because it is fun and i like i like even just going through other people's artwork and seeing what actually looks really good because some of them are pretty good you get some of the better cars later in the game like a Lamborghini, and you'll have some people making some like awesome looking Captain America metallic shield looking things. It looks like Captain America shield, you know, the red, blue, silver, chromed everything, and it looks super awesome, like I had in my last game. 
and uh, those were some of like my I mean they're just awesome looking cars in my garage just because some of them were just in there just because I liked the paint on them not even because I like driving the car and so this game has more room for that more uh, stuff to go to so is there a fast travel route to this there's gotta be one somewhere over here so this thing yeah let's go there um, so I'm hoping this game has a good lifespan and it's, you know, has a good art community going on. Now, uh, so that kind of covers like the stuff that I really wanted to see before I even got this game was mostly like that kind of stuff. I wanted to see how it compared to the last game. I wanted to see, uh, local oh, cool stuff restock. Where's the nearest uh, thing? Is it this one? No. That's just a billboard. Um, a long, windy road to get down there. So we're going to start heading that way. How do I get there? Um, what I wanted to see before I even played this game, I really wanted to see, you know, how much like the last game it was. And then I wanted to see what was changed and what was different. Where? How do I get out of here? I wanted to see uh, how it handled. And it's really hard to tell. Uh... How do I get down there? I don't know the map at all, so I'm so lost. I'm hoping there's a ramp or something right here. Let's see. I wanted to see if it handled like the last game, because I actually really like the way Need for Speed games handle. There is not a ramp over here anywhere. Is there an off-ramp? No. How do I get down there? Okay. I don't see how to get out of here. Let's go this way. I had to go, like, the long way. Uh, but, like, being able to tell how this handles when someone else is playing it, not something you can really tell. But uh, I'll just say, if you like the last game, that this game handles much like that one did, uh, if you had your car tuned just right and uh, to a really good way uh, for drifting or whatever, this game handles kind of like that. It's not as floaty, and, uh, like, if I'm hitting left and right, like, I'm not instantly, like, sliding out. But if I hit the e-brake and whatever, I will kind of go into a mini drift if i'm not I, like this car's not fast enough i feel like like 100 miles for these uh, these first cars feels so slow after playing the last game where all my cars went like 240 so uh there's gonna be a little bit of ramp up time between uh the last game and this game uh where i'm finally gonna be able to to go at full speed for stuff and uh it is it's very weird so there's a option uh, now, when you come to a stop like this, there is this option to like hold right bumper to get uh, to a different car. So if you have a different car, maybe for a different event, you can pull up to that. If you don't have the right kind of car for an event, it will automatically bring that up and make you switch to like the truck like I did on the last event. But so if I start this, I should uh, get some weird talking. They'll ask me for a side bet. Uh, stay in first for 60 seconds this is going to be probably something I'm going to fail because I suck at staying in first. I'm pretty good at snaking it right at the end, but I'm not so good at keeping it the whole time. Yeah, so uh, I've already raced this crew, I think, three times, and I'm this is my uh, fourth one. Now, everyone that I see played, they're always racing in this, like, third-person view. I don't feel right racing in that. I want my hood, and I want to just be able to drive. Uh, maybe you don't prefer that, but I always kind of have in these games. Uh, it's easier to drift a lot of times when you can see the whole car and you can tell when you shift into a drift but uh this just feels right to me in racing games so especially when i'm in a race i want first person view but uh yeah so the handling is pretty good i think the thing that bothered me the most when i was watching streams was there isn't a blue like arrow on the road so you kind of have this like arrow thing pointing where to go and then you got these loops you got to go through for checkpoints which is pretty standard for most games but it's just a little bit different that there isn't the arrow on the road showing you kind of where the best lane is and uh i i think i'm kind of over it now but i do kind of miss it i hope that there's maybe a future patch that has something to bring that back and uh i don't know if there will be but i you know i did like that in the past so there's a lot of off-roady things like just a little little shortcut like that that you can catch on these these games in this game rather that uh, do give you a slight advantage if you have a car that doesn't like totally just lose it when you go off-roading. Uh, but as long as you can uh, handle it, 
the nice little shortcuts do help and it is a little bit more free than the last game and then you know there's jumps and stuff that you'll probably be able to hit in a lot of the races i don't know about all i wouldn't say all of them but there's definitely some in a lot of them that are kind of just set up especially the story mode that are set up so that you can feel like you're in a fast and furious movie and the the story for this game without spoiling anything is very much a fast and the furious style of story where like you have a crew you have some racing stuff going down and then you have a rival that you you really want to get revenge on so uh without spoiling any of that it basically is just uh and i'm not very far in that by the way i'm just saying like it it is a very fast and furious uh kind of uh, fantasy that you can live by playing this game, which I think is cool. Better than the last one. The last game, Need for Speed 2015, had a lot of weird cutscenes with this crew that you didn't, you were like, you were the non-talking person and whatever uh, was being said was being said to you by these, you know, characters that you, I mean, you probably liked Amy, but you didn't care about the other guys at all. And it was just uh, so artificial feeling um, this one, like, you're playing as Tyler Morgan, blah, blah, blah. Don't know much about him. He's kind of a, you know, jerk face kind of guy. I wouldn't really hang out with him in real life, but uh, he's just one of those guys that, you know, likes cars and whatever. And so you're playing as him, and then you've got the other people in his crew that you sometimes switch to when you're doing other positions in the race. And then uh, sometimes it switches you, like, between one character and the other to, like, bash car cop cars off the road when they're chasing you, um, which... It's kind of fun. It's kind of a power fantasy, but it's it you know it 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 is a little bit immersion breaking when you get switched to like one of the other ones. You're like, oh, I hate driving this style, so that sucks. Um, is that good for me? I think that's good. Lose some jump, gain some nos. Totally worth using, I think. I'm gonna equip it. We'll see. Um, so see, I'm still I'm very early in the the progression of the storyline. This is uh. You know, part of a mission that they're going to tell me to go do something, probably on a phone call. There you go. Okay, so uh, she's going to give me parts of a car. There's uh, derelict cars that you can find around town, and I haven't found one yet, but uh, if I beat her in the next race, then it sounds like she is going to show me where some junker car is that I can take back to my garage, and then you can put parts into it. I'm not sure how that part works yet, but it sounds cool. Like, yeah, why not? Um, sounds like a fun thing to do. How do I get back there? Now, uh, so you've seen how one race works off-road. You can see how this works uh, on-road if you've been watching the stream and you join in late. Sorry, you probably miss it, but the VOD will probably go up on my YouTube uh, at some point. Um, so, yeah. The, uh, the story, I think, so far, it's not, like, the best uh, voice acting or the best uh, character acting. You haven't got to see any of the character acting. Oh, can I hit that one? No, I can't hit that wall wall there just kidding ha 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 see if i can go back and hit it this angle somehow how do i how do i get up there what i must have been that off road on the side there i see a ramp down there um there's a spot there's a spot to go off roading whoops my car's gonna look like crap uh is this gonna hit the ramp ow there's a rock Okay, is this the angle I want to hit it at? Yeah, I'm going to have to go pretty fast for this one. So let's see if I can find a good spot to just back up. What is this other thing? This is the first one of these things I've seen. I don't know what it is. It says something on the map. What is it, a tire? Oh, it's a poker chip. One of a hundred poker chips? Come on. How am I supposed to collect all those? <laughs> like That's the most obscure thing I've found. It's craziness. Okay, let's see if I can even get up to speed to make this jump. Just nos the crap out of it. I'm going to hit a tree. Uh, nah. oh, I got up just barely. Okay, so you hit that, and then, yeah, this weird cutscene, it kind of takes away a little bit of the control. That's one of my my complaints about the um, the story mode. Is sometimes it's like, you need to take this jump, and then it kind of just takes the control away from you. And uh, I think the last game did that a little bit, but I think this game does it more so. And I think... 
it happens at points when like that Fast and the Furious kind of mindset where you're just like, I'm going to make this jump. And then it's like, no, you're not. I'm going to do it for you. And you're like, but I, I could have done it. Like the other guy drops, uh, brings this like a uh, tow truck and like drops the, the bed of it. And you're like, oh, cool. It's a ramp. And then it cuts to him driving for you. And you're like, well, that sucks. Um, I wonder if I can get that a second time. So there's these stars on these things that you have to like beat it at a certain speed. And if you beat it, you get, oh, I have to beat it at 135 now. So if you beat it at the first star, you got to beat it at the second star. And I think you're going to have to upgrade your cars quite a bit before you're going to be able to do this on some of these. Some of them are like jump 50 feet and then like the second time is like jump 80 feet. And you're like, that's far. Okay. Um, not sure quite how, uh, oh man, this is not, this car has no acceleration. to 121 um this car is not very fast so some of these you're gonna have to come back to after you've upgraded some of your cars there's a billboard or something over here uh for me i like these games because i can just kind of like drive around do some of the free range i don't really care about the story so much you know i want to find all the stupid billboards and figure out how to how to go about hitting this one where okay can i just go this way I can just like charge at this one. I should be able to hit it. Nos right into it. Boom. And then cool cutscene. Yeah. It feels good. I think it's a good feeling uh, to, to smash stuff. And I think they took a lot of that from Burnout Paradise, which is fine with me. That game was a lot of fun. And it had also the same kind of, I don't want to say the same exact handling for drifting and stuff, but it had the, the arcadey kind of driving. And I like it. This is a speed run. I have to get to a top speed on this one. By the end of it, I don't know if I'll be able to do it without having a good head start. Target's only 85. I can do that, probably. All right, speed run. So when you see one of these, like the last one was speed trap. Speed trap, you just have to hit it at the point where you hit it. This one, you have to hit the max speed by the end, by the finish line. And so as long as I can stay over 85, I'll get this one, which 85 doesn't seem that fast. This is the beginning of the game, and this is only the one star. So the... Next one's probably like 135, and then it's probably like 200 something for the the third star. And some of the uh, some of the things that you can unlock on your car, uh, fenders and spoilers and stuff. Some of some of the cars require you to beat a certain amount of speed runs or a certain amount of jumps or a certain amount of something, depending on what kind of car it is. Like the off-road ones really want you to do a bunch of jumps um, just to unlock different fenders and bumpers and whatnot. So. Um, I don't know, it kind of gives you like mini goals around the world to do. Was this the one I was supposed to go to? Where am I? Yeah, okay, this is the one. There's a billboard back there. Or up here. Where is it? I want to go get the billboard first. That looks like another player. I'm not sure. Am I playing with other people? What? There's the billboard. So uh, I haven't really tried to play the online multiplayer yet. I liked the way it worked in the last game where it kind of just spawned you and five or six other people in a thing. Oh, I can't get to it from this side. I'm going to go the other way. Uh, how do I get up there? That's not it. I thought that was a road. Um, there's like, at least there's actually people sometimes standing around their cars and stuff, and they, they kind of like respond when you like run into their car at you know 10 miles an hour even they're like whoa hey i'm here buddy and you're like oh my bad the poker chip that's two of those um is this how i get to that that's how i get to that can i just run right off this thing boom okay so this is the easy one <coughs> um so I don't know. I like the uh, ability to just free roam and do stuff more so than being forced to just do race after race. I tried playing one of the Forza games. I think it was Forza 5. It was on Xbox Live for free this last this last month. It was like we're just one of the games you get for just having Xbox Live. And I was like, ah, if it's free, I might as well try it out. I've never played Forza, but I just didn't enjoy it just because it was so hand-holding and you were just doing loops around a lap. I just couldn't get into it. But this is more my type of game. When it comes to race car games, this is what I want to play. Finish the race within 180 seconds. I can probably do that. Most of the side bets I've been able to pull off so far. 
and they they have a good good payout ratio of like one to four for these ones i don't know how much that's going to change when i have a better car but for now it's uh, nice to be able to get a little bit of money she's not going to go easy on me me either this game's so slow feeling at this pace it's crazy I uh, I do like the handling of these kind of games though. So if you if you know you like Forza and the more realistic handling, then this might not be for you. But if you like the arcadey stuff like Burnout or like Man Rush from like Nintendo 64, then this might be the game for you. Like this might be a fun thing to to play. Might bring you back to Need for Speed series if you haven't played anything. I don't think it plays anything like Underground or the other games that people really loved in Need for Speed in the last couple years. Um, but I like 2015. And what like whatever the title of that actually was i don't think there even was one and so i keep calling it 2015 need for speed and then this one i like it is so far pleasantly fun i am enjoying it i am having a lot of fun she's going to take the off-road isn't she oh i'm going to be able to beat her There hasn't been any times where I've like totally lost track of where I'm supposed to go. I think I've been able to follow the, the little mini map on the bottom and then follow the stupid circles and the whatever these chevron arrows are pointing at um, fairly well. I I feel like they've done a pretty good job not having like random like you got to take off ramp at 900 miles an hour and good luck. <laughs> like I haven't caught that yet, but I know that'll happen later in the game. I'm sure. My life depends on it. Oh, wow. There's definitely some weird blur effects that might make you a little motion sick if you're not into racing games. Uh, I wish I could turn some of those off, but I don't think you can. But it hasn't made me feel too bad. And I get sick playing, like, Minecraft and stuff, so I always worry about motion blur and whatever effects that they have on these kind of games because it does get to me sometimes. I know, uh, like... In really pixelated, really bad graphic stuff. But this game is fine. It's been it's been easy enough. I can handle it. it hasn't made me nauseous at all. Um, now, am I gonna make it? I got 35 seconds. She's still a little bit behind me. I do like that they have the auto filling uh, nitro on this. But I wish I knew how to get more or like if just doing stunts and tricks was a way to get more or if it's literally just time filled. It seems like it's just time filled though. Oh, that's bad. Did she catch up to me? I don't even know where she's at. I don't see her on the map, so I might have got ahead. Oh, I thought that was going to be a sharper turn than that. <laughs> I, I feel like I should be going a lot faster than this. She's catching up now because I screwed up twice. Uh, I didn't make the time in time for the side bet, though. That sucks. So that's like the first side bet that I've lost. I don't know how bad that is. I think it just subtracts it at the end. You'll see like a quick... Yeah, see, I missed the side bets. It took me 311 to beat that, so I lose the bet that I made with 700. If I would have made it, I would have got 2,000-something. So it just takes it out of your total for getting the first place. That sucks, but most side bets are pretty easy. It's it's probably normally worth taking them. I mean, you don't have to, but it does give you a little extra or a little less. Uh, we're just going to go with the middle one, and we've got better brakes. Better acceleration for gearbox. Is it really better? See, mine has more speed and jump on it, so I'd lose all that in the jump but do I, I gain more acceleration that's I don't know I lose one in top speed how I don't know why wait why oh because the other one has plus speed this one doesn't have top speed okay um I don't even know is that better like there's so many little things where it's like I don't know what to do uh in this crafting system like I'll figure out how it works eventually but it's kind of weird uh I just send that one to the garage. Look at it later. Um, but yeah, so that's big, big into that seer or that uh, story arc there. Now there's a Dodge Charger I can go get, which I think I already have in the bank. 
new car unlocked at the dealership nissan skyline gt so i can be like one of the skyline guys it's this nissan 180 type something so now uh derek here's your first derelict clue i can't read because the achievement thing's in the way She has a Mustang that I can go find. Which button is that? What? Okay, so we gotta go find it. Now what? Tear the clues. Tear the clues. The most upgradable cars in Fortune Valley. Collect their parts. Upgrade from scrap to stock to supercar. That's my clue? That's not even a clue. What? Uh. I'm trying to like look at that map. Where would that be? What? I'm really bad at this. This is the first one of these I've seen, so I don't even know where to like, where to think to look where would that be blue watery looking stuff is it over here it's way over here is that right yeah it's this it's this uh this part right is uh that top top right corner so then down a little bit no that's not right is it is that it Yeah, there's a circle there, a circle there, whatever this shape is, just where the bread circle is. Somewhere over there. Let's put a route to it. It's super far. It's so far. Is there a fast point I can travel to somewhere? Can I travel to this one? I don't think I can because I haven't bought it yet. Uh, I can fast travel that one, though. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying this game. I think it's fun. I think uh, if you're into Need for Speed, it's great. If you're not into it, uh, I'd probably hold off until it's on sale. I saw some Black Friday deals for this game being like half off already. So if you might want to wait till Black Friday just to wait to purchase this, might be worth it if you're, uh, you know, just looking to add some more games to your uh, list. Wow, more NOS. Um... What do I have equipped? It's turbo? I have a level 4 turbo with like crap on it. What's this one? I wonder if I can make a better turbo. So I'll show you how the, t the trade in thing works. Let's uh, try and just make a turbo. So if I go to one of the things, it, it locks in one part. And then the other two, it randoms like dice. So we're going to try and do a turbo. It cost me three cards. I got 31. So then boom. I'm at 28, and then it's going to give it, you know, something. It picked Jidori. I don't know what that means. It's a brand, I guess. And then it gave me nitrous and acceleration. So it looks like that should be an upgrade. No, it's a three. Level three, you suck. Ugh. Why couldn't it give me a higher level one? That sucks. Uh... So I guess I could just trade that in and try again. I don't know. I don't know how much it's worth doing this at low levels, really. Like, I want a better thing, but is it going to, like, what are the odds of getting something that's, like, really high level? I don't know. Like, do I have to have better gear level before it's going to give me something better? Or give me a level four. Is that one at least better? Please tell me it's better. Give me brakes and acceleration. Uh, I guess. Gives me a little more acceleration. We'll equip it. Now, if I go into here, now you see I got the stock one and I got the other one. And I can go in there and I think, yeah, I can just trade that. I can't trade in the stock one, but I can trade in this one or I can sell it for money. I'm going to turn it into a thing. And yeah, that's the best I got right now. Uh, so, nothing cool at this stock shop. But uh, yeah, there's a billboard I can go hit. I'll get out of here. Wait, where am I? Wrong one. I need the map. Uh, so it's going to take me all the way up here just to go around this uh, mountains. Okay, whatever. 
Can I hit this thing from like an easy angle? Or do I have to hit a ramp? Oh man, I can't even, I don't even see how I'm supposed to hit that. A ramp back there from in the town. What a pain in the butt. I wanna hit it, I'm gonna go do it. I'm really distracted by these kind of things. I'm not exactly a completionist, but I definitely like to hit uh, all the different stupid side quest stuff. How? Wait, what? It wasn't in this parking lot, right? Stupid. Ugh. Okay, I can't hit that light pole, but I can knock over like anything else. Uh, how do I get to it? Well, this is dumb. Can I do it over this way? Is there a thing on the side of the store where I can drive through? No. Yeah, little alley? No, that's not it. Well, crap. How do you get out there? What the crap? Oh, it was. I just totally didn't see this angle. Okay. I'm blind, guys. I'm sorry. Boom, we're going. Wow. Boom, my car totally bottomed out and I broke everything and I'm going to land on my head and break my neck. Splat. Okay, totally got it, guys. Easy peasy. But yeah, so I enjoy this game for the distractions, for the uh, the chill, relaxing drives. I'd say I enjoy it for the music, but I'm actually playing my own music just because, uh, yeah. I'd rather hear some drum and bass for driving than their weird rap music. Oh, I actually got that one. I wasn't even paying attention to what the, the speed trap speed was, but I, I beat it anyway. It's an accident. Um, is this a gas station? So you got, you want to get all the gas stations, I guess, because they are a fast travel means. Once you've gone through them, I don't want to go that way. So we're going to go back this way. Where am I? Let's check. I'm like halfway up this random mountain road. This is a, I mean, there's a lot of detail that has to be made to make this kind of world. And I, I can appreciate all the work that goes into making this because of some of the maps that I've I've worked on in the past for like Counter-Strike Source and stuff. I can appreciate every little rock and every little dent and every indentation over there. Every bush, every tree that has to be made. Someone had to take time to do that and that's it's awesome that they put that much work cuz I mean you're driving through this stuff so fast, you're not really looking at everything, right? You're probably just speeding through it and a lot of it's getting motion blurred. There's not a lot of high detail to it in this kind of game because you are going through it so fast at such a speed that you're not going to see a lot of that, but uh, there was someone that, that, you know, took time and effort to put up every little stop sign, every little, little S-curve and all these Chevron things. And uh, good, good on them for doing something like that. That looked like a place I could probably jump off that cliff. I probably should have tried it. Would have been a big shortcut. Um, I am glad that this game has a little bit more of the off-roady stuff than the last game because the last game had a lot of these cool mountain roads, but then there was, like, almost nowhere you could jump off. And uh, if you played Burnout, there was a lot of places like up there where there's those pile of rocks that you could have like jumped off of to got down here really quickly, and you got a lot of points for a lot of airtime. And uh, I, you know, Burnout was a fun game, and man, I enjoyed Burnout Paradise so much. Uh, as just my casual, every now and then I'm going to jump in a car game and play it. Um, and I had it on PC. And enjoyed it so much that I bought it for Xbox uh, at one point when I seen it on sale. Is this a gas station? Can I get in here? Uh, yeah, but so yeah, I love Burnout. And it was, you know, something that even I think I got on, on Xbox One just because I enjoyed it. Now this is where I put the thing, the marker. I was pretty close. I found the car. I found it, guys. We did it. So if uh, you play this game, that's where the first derelict car is. The frame is. It's a cool looking car. Very 
go. More derelict clues are on the clue postcard. Derelicts require an additional four parts. They're usually found on higher ground. Higher ground where? What? Oh my goodness, this is going to be a, a chase game for me, and it's going to just drive me nuts if I can't find some of them. I'm going to have to like, find someone on YouTube who found them just to figure out where this stuff is, because I'm not good at the... Uh, like, oh man. What? Like, I'm not, like, that one on top right in the circle in the middle of nowhere in between all the roads. I'm not going to be able to find that. Like, that, it's not, there's probably no little roads to get to that. What? I'm trying to, like, just think where those, like, I'm looking at the top right one. Where would that be? What? So this is one of five derelict cars? Okay. This is this is quite the little adventure they're gonna send you on. I'm trying to look at the map here. Let's see. Let's tab back and forth a couple times. I see something. Okay, there's one over here from the top left one. Whoops. Um, down. Uh, where is that? Uh. Okay, that's that's the that's the part in the top right so then it goes crap it's hard to switch back between these uh then it goes this way and it's almost where this car is uh yeah stop being in my way um yeah somewhere around there is a thing and i don't know how yeah because that's that little part in the bottom of the the bottom on the top right one so i want to put a mark about there Stop it. I don't... Stop it! I need to, like, zoom in and not hit that car. I want to say... But right there. Make a route to that. That's far. That's so far. Okay, let's see. Can I put another mark somewhere? Or does that screw it up? Oh, we finished one whole song, so it's been, like, an hour. This is a long video. Sorry, guys. It's very... Just uh, me talking. Oh, I can't. I can't put up multiple ones. But that's where I think the first one is. Oh man, the the bottom one. I don't know. Bottom left. I don't know. It's, I haven't really studied this map, so I have no idea where to look. Maybe in here. What do you think? No. No. Looking for the part that looks like the, <laughs> like, I don't even want to try and explain this thing. Like, what, what does that one look like? Like, the very bottom part of that bottom left picture. Like, what, what is that? Like, a come hither the finger? What, what? Oh, where would that be? That looked like it was something, uh, no? Man, this is, it's going to take a lot of, like, just studying the map to figure out where the stuff could be like how much how much in this area can you get to like I think you can get into some of this stuff uh, all right what what was I looking at again I gotta like look at the map like 15 billion times can I just screen cap it and, and look huh this bottom left one is like so obscure to me I see a Could it be this? Is it this? No, it's the wrong angle. Where? What am I seeing? I'm so blind, guys. I don't know. Is it this? No. Oh, bottom. Is it this thing? No, that's not it. It's like, it's such obscure way to do this this is amazing oh man i'm gonna lose my mind trying to do it let's just move on shall we let's move on i'm just lucky i found the first piece of this thing <laughs> like we'll just say i did a good job by finding something on accident kind of well i mean i accidentally looked at the right part of the map and figured it out is this a jump i think this one's a jump oof i hit the wall it's okay can I hit it from this angle? 
Oh, it is a jump, but I don't know which way I need to hit it. Uh, this way? Jump 65 yards. Boom. Oh, that's definitely 65 yards. I made it. Cool. I wonder if I can go back and do it again. How do I get back there? Alright. Was it this way? I need a little bit more of a run for this one, I think. I want to try and nail this thing for a real big jump, because it's probably going to be a lot more than 65 yards this time. This car does not have acceleration and dirt for nothing. Alright, where's the thing at? Oh, there it is. Okay. 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 Boom. It's 130 yards this time. How much did I make last time? Like 120? Oh, man. I missed it. 126. Ah, that would have been cool if I got it. That would be the first one that I actually got both uh, first and second star like in a row for me. Uh, but yeah, okay, so we didn't do that. We got one of them. This looks like a weird outhouse. This is the one I got, right? This is an easy speed run. Let's just do this. So the speed runs, I think, are a good addition to uh, the game. From the way it was done in the last game, uh, where there was like there was like drift corners and there was other things. This is kind of a little bit better. There was also the like random like non-player cars that you could kind of just be like, yeah, I want to race you. Um, random battle, and they would just kind of be like, yeah, okay. And most of the time, it was dumb. What is this thing? Another speed run? No, I'm not running that one. Uh, but I think this is this is a pretty good way of doing this stuff. And then I think the map is really big and really open and that's fun i like having a lot of stuff to just explore and you know i don't expect to know the whole map or the whole world that they've made here within like a day or two i expect okay so here's some off-roading thing i can go hit okay whoa whoa this car is not made for off-roading so this is probably a mistake oh uh, but it you know it all handles very well i think you know it's not it's not like overly stiff and it's not driving for me. I don't feel like it's driving for me. Now I heard one guy who uh, was talking about this on a Twitch stream and he said it felt like the game drives for him too much. I don't feel like that's a thing that's happening. Like I feel like I'm pretty in control of what's happening, of how fast I'm going is probably the thing that they're controlling the most. Like I hit dirt and all of a sudden I'm going real slow and it's like, okay, maybe that's, that's the game taking control over for me, but uh, as far as just me driving, I feel like it's pretty good. You know, I can hit the the handbrake and go right around this corner, and I know exactly when I need to look left uh, to go right, look right to go left. That you know, whole drifty concept. Uh, it all feels pretty good to me. I'm happy with it. What what is this thing? Is it a jump? What is it? I, it's not telling me. What is it? At the wrong angle. What is it? It's a jump. Okay. There's not a lot of place for a ramp for this. So I'm assuming I don't have to go too far back to get the 65 yards. Let's see if we can get this. Oh, there's another car. Oh, there's a car there. Just launch it off this cliff. Oh, man. That feels fun. That was great. I can go take this and... Yeah, it feels like I lose a little bit of control if I look left and it's trying to, it starts trying to just overcorrect me. It feels like dirt. I mean, I'm not into simulation racing games. I don't want it to feel like the total real-life truck simulator or whatever. What is this guy? Is he an NPC? How do I do it? What do I do? Oh, right bumper. Boom, I'm racing him. So these are this is kind of the same as it was in the last game. What do I got to do? I had to get the score. What? I feel like I could just push him off the road right there and win the race, but he's strip streaming, slip streaming me. Is he gonna catch up to me? I want to win. I want to win this game. Was I supposed to be the one slip streaming or what? Oh, car! A narrow miss. Why am I racing them for six miles? What is this? Or 
Where is he? Where is he? Do I need to let him get in front? Get in front of me. Come on, dude. Where is he? He's getting a lot of points for strip stream, slip streaming, and I'm not. I'm going to slow down a bit. See if he passes. Oh, he's doing it. Do I get points now for following his butt? Stop it. This is a very long race for like such a random event. It's craziness. I'm losing him. I don't even know if I can get ahead of him without boosting. Need that NOS just to get ahead of him. Crazy. Whoa, he took a shortcut. What a jerk. Yeah, if you get on the dirt, you definitely slow down a bit. And I have messed up this bit, so I need to, like, speed up here. Oh, dear. Saw that one coming. Did I lose? Oh. I'm going to be way behind him now. That sucks. I don't think I can win now. Where is he? There he is. We can catch up now. We're making it. Oh, yeah. Oh, truck. Oh, other car. Why are you guys there? Don't follow me in the dirt, buddy. He is real good at slipstreaming, that's for sure. I'll try and save some of this boost until I need to. I've got two miles to go. 30 points. What does that mean? Does he win if he gets 30 points? Or do I win? Where is he? Come on, get in front of me. Come on, jerk. Where is he? Is he going to win? I'm not sure how this is working. Am I winning? I feel like I should be winning this. I won. I don't know what I did, but I won. We did it, guys. I made a phone call. Okay, cool. Unlock some grills and customization on something. Purple cars. All right. Where is this? Is this the same place I was earlier where I jumped? Oh, this is it. How much did I jump last time? 100 and something feet? Oh, it's 115. I don't know if I can do that. I need more, like, runway. Just scratch all the paint off this car. All right, let's go. Oh, that car stopped right there. Oh, there's another car. This is bad. Boom. I would need, what, 115? Did I make it? Oh, oh 108. Oh, 110. Did I make it? I didn't make it, though, right? Oh, well. It was a fun jump, guys. It was great. I don't remember where I had my uh, pointer thing going, but I'm just free riding, and it's great. Speed run, 95 miles per hour. Okay, let's go. So but with the speed runs, you just have to, like, be going 95 by the end of it. Like, if you slow down right at the end, you'll lose it, which sucks. Or whatever the speed set is. So if you end up having to go, like, there was 80, that would be the end. That would suck. If I can get up to that. 96, I win. So those ones aren't that hard. The first try around, anyways. Oh, there's a guy. Wow, was that a real player or what? I don't even know. What does his name mean? The other guy I raced was definitely an NPC thing, which was cool, but... Oh, this is a dirt road one. This is probably not the car to be doing this in. Like, I can do this. I can do it. I can win. 
I had to be 90. Uh, I don't know. I was like, I don't know which way I need to go. Oh, there's a guy. Uh, I need to go 90. Where's the end of this thing? I'm going 98. I'm going to make it if I can find the end. Oh, there's the end. Go, floor it. 105. I did it. Whoa! This is really fun handling on the dirt. Even in this car, because it's not made for this. It's fun. This is a very bumpy road. Is this train tracks? No. Is this a tunnel? Let's just go for a head-on crash. Boom. Oh, I didn't even crash. So that it gives you a little bit more grace on some of these uh, for not doing like just a total wreck. There's a speed trap. What do I need to go? 125. I'm not going even anywhere near that. If you're just driving around to get to places, you definitely get some of these just passively by just playing, which is cool. But, uh... I'm not quite the fastest car yet. I wish I had better car parts. Or I wish I could just buy them, you know, and just stock up the money like in the last game. But the last game had that weird restriction where you had to, like, beat Amy's race to get to certain parts uh, to a different level. Uh, which seemed very artificial. But this game has this weird, like, just, I don't know, time gating on it that feels very weird. Uh, because everything has to have cards nowadays, and I don't know. I mean, I'll, we'll see. Like, in a couple months, we'll see if I still like it, or if, like, I'm I'm just, like, tired of that part of it. But the driving so far, I'm pretty pleased with this, guys. I'm enjoying just the way the cars are tuned and handling and tap that e-brake and just slide around everything. It feels good. This is definitely going to be my my relaxation, you know... I've only got a little bit of time to play, but I just want to, like, not focus kind of game. Turn on some music and just kind of veg out. This is it, man. This is what I want, like, from a game every now and then. It's not, like, the only kind of games I want to play. Like, obviously, I'm going to stick with playing League of Legends and, and World of Warcraft and stuff, right? But, man, sometimes when those games burn you out, you need something else. What is this? Well, oh, it's a chip. How do I get that? All right, let's see if we can figure out how I'm supposed to get it. It's very in the middle of nowhere there. Oh, man. How do I get that? Can I come out from this road? I think so. Where is it? I don't even see it. Okay, that's the angle we want to kind of hit. It's that missing gate now. I think I'm going to have to go pretty fast for this one. Where's the road at? Okay, let's turn around right here. All right, where's the fence line I missed? Oh, cars, why do you got to stop right there? You guys suck so bad. Okay, now if every car would just get the crap out of the way... Move. You're holding up the whole road. Get out of here. Get out. This is what I want to do to real cars. That's why I don't have my, my will to drive in California, because I would just run over every idiot. Get out of my way. Your cars are in my way. Get out of here. Somebody go. Why are you here? Get out of here. Go. You stop oncoming traffic so they don't screw me up this time. Okay, we're going. Hopefully no other cars come and screw it up. Stupid dog pile of cars. Okay. I don't want them to reset either, so I don't want to go too far away because they'll probably just, like, all reset and then I'll just be screwed again. All right. Let's go. Chip. Oh, did I get it? I got it. I did it. Oh, that, that's so fun. Just running over crap. It doesn't need to be there. Oh, I can't run up that hill? Okay. Okay, game. Whatever. Still, that was fun. I pushed a bunch of dummies in the, out of the way, into the way. Y'all are causing a lot of traffic jams. Pissing me off. Where am I on the map? I don't even know. I'm way up here. Where were we last? I looked. Somewhere down here, right? 
Anyways, it's it's fun. I'm having fun. I need to go do those off-road races for the story, and then I think it'll give me the next races for the, the race car. But uh, I think that's a good place to end the stream, and uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope uh, you uh, enjoyed, and if you, uh, you're watching the VODs, I hope this helps you decide whether or not you want to play this game. We'll probably have some more gameplay up that'll be shorter videos. This is definitely a more of a long look, a first look, and a very... Just letting you see what I'm seeing uh, initially on this game. And uh, I hope it's enjoyable. Because uh, I like seeing these kind of longer videos like this before I get a game like this that's, you know, 60, 70, 80 bucks if you buy the premium thing. Like, it's an expensive game. It's a big investment for a game that you might only play a little bit if you don't like the racing. Like, Forza games, I just can't get into, man. So, it's a. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that I haven't unlocked and haven't done yet, so the map will open up a lot more. You know, this is all that's on the map right now, and I know there will be stuff over here. In this whole area, probably a couple in these areas, probably one or two up here. I haven't even got to where there's any drifting events yet. I think I'm going to have to unlock this before I get to those. Um, which, yeah, if you were watching this and you saw, like, there's no drift events. There's these race events and off-road events. There is drift events. I've seen other streamers. I, I had asked a streamer because I was even worried before I bought this. I was like, is there regular drifting events? Or, like, is there the um, the drift trails or the other ones that they had up in the hills in the other game? And they were like, yeah, there is some of them. But I think I don't even know how much he had been playing because his map didn't look completely full more than mine. He looked like he had probably finished the... Uh, the first bits of the story to get to the next part, but it's, uh, yeah, he still only had, like, uh, level 8 parts, and then level, I think, level 10 parts was, like, his highest parts in his car, so he's a little bit, a little bit more geared than my car, but, uh, look, my car looks like junk right now, look at that bumper, that bumper wants to just fall off, I can't figure out how to free move the, uh, camera, I wonder if there's a setting in here. Stop that. Not that one. Not that one. This one. See, on this one I can rotate the camera, but on this one, no? Where is my change camera thing on this one? On this one, it is Y. Toggle camera. Where is it? Oh, it's the up arrow on this one. Okay, let's see. Can I move the camera now? There we go. Look at that. I busted out the side windows. Oh, feels bad. But look, there's actually a person in this car. It's amazing. The last game did not have people in the car. Oh, I didn't even bust out this the, the left window. Car looks great, guys. Let's see if we can uh, figure out how to bust this window out. Oh, he should have busted it right there. Come on. He busted my mirror. Come on, jerk. Bust my, bust my window. Hey. Right. Hey, hey. That didn't do it. This car drives so weird. Uh, wow. See if we can do it by going fast into one of these guys. That didn't do it. That didn't do it. Oh, come on. That didn't do it either. What if we uh, sideways into that? No? Wow, that window is super strong, guys. I don't know how to hit that side other than just drag it into this. It's the impossible window. Come on! This car should be real messed up by now. But hey, it's an arcade game, so who cares, right? Destruction points. One of the uh, side bets was like destroy like 30 things, and I was like trying to k hit all the little signs on the road. It was great. Oh man. Why isn't this a jump? Why? There's a jump here, but it's not a jump, guys. Oh man. Wait, what? Why did it reset? Why did it reset my car? What? Did I not make it? If I go right now, I'm totally not going to make it. Let's see. Boom. Let's go. Let's go. All the power. I might make this, actually. Yeah. Oh. 
how come it didn't make it last time? Whatever. And I didn't break out all the windows. Wow. That's amazing. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all the viewers on uh, Twitch and all the viewers on YouTube. Uh, like, favorite, subscribe, comment, do all the things that are social, and it helps me. Every little bit of it is great. It's all useful. And if I can keep making more videos like this for you guys, uh, I will. I try and get these kind of videos out for uh, different types of things like... Uh, like this, just so you guys can uh, see what the game's like before it's out. I know I like those kind of videos, so I hope you do too. Anyway, see you next time.